Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a how-to video on how to make this four-way train crossing so that your trains can continue to go through when the tracks intersect. Lego actually used to make an official piece like this, but they haven't made it in a long time and the only place you can find them now are on websites like BrickLink and eBay. I learned how to make this really awesome fix from a YouTube channel. I'm very sorry, but I cannot remember the name of the video and I, because I made it over a year ago and I was having trouble finding it. As you can see, it works really well and the trains go through it with absolutely no problem. In order to make this, you'll need some Lego train track. It's 16 2x4 tiles in any color, 16 1x2 jumper plates, a 4x4 plate, a 6x6 plate, 4 2x2 plates, 8 1x2 tiles, as well as 4 2x2 two two jumper plates with one stud in the center. First, you'll start off with your 6x6 plate. Now what you'll do is you'll add the 4x4 plate right on top, right in the center so that there's one stud on every single side. Next, you're going to put your tiles. You only need four of these 2x4 tiles right now, and you're going to use the rest later. You can assemble that all along there. Once your 4x4 plate is all covered with these tiles, you're going to take your 16 1x2 jumper plates, and you're going to add them to the side of it. You're going to want to put four on each side, leaving one stud on the end of each one. And you're just going to continue doing this along the entire piece here. Once all the jumper plates are on the bottom base plate here, what you're going to do is now take the 2x2 two two tiles and you're going to attach them so that each tile covers two of the jumper plates. And you only need two on each one to cover four jumper plates. This will almost use up the rest of your tiles. If you've used them all up yet, you didn't get enough tan ones. Once it looks like this, you know you're doing it right. Next, you take the 2x2 two two plate and you actually repeat this step four times. So what you do is on the end of these studs, you put your 2x2 two two tiles. So it looks like so. Next up, you're gonna take your 2x2 two two jumper plate and add it here and you're going to take your tile and do it here now repeat that four times once you have four of these pieces made you are ready to finish your four-way crossing now what you're going to do is you're going to take the base of the 2x2 two two jumper plate which is up top and you're going to want to align it with the base of the 2x6 so it should be completely flush on all sides you want to do this for all four of them, obviously, or it won't work. And now your four-way crossing is complete. To assemble it to the track, what you just do is you bring it up towards the track and you use these tiles to properly fasten it on. Your four-way crossing is now complete, so now you can have two trains going at once. But warning, if you do have two trains, don't let them cross the track at the same time. Thanks so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 LEGO video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe for all LEGO all the time, click the subscribe brick and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more of our previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there containing all our videos. If you want to see more Brick Lover 18, head on over to BrickLover18.com where you'll find the links to our Twitter and our Instagram and our brick link. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe brick. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.